Hey everybody, Ann here. I hope you can hear me with the wagon I'm pulling behind me. I'm on my neighbor's property and he has gone and just mowed everything down. And so he said I could come and look for wood on his property, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna come back and get some of this. This, like I've told you before, makes great kindling. It's off this rotten log. Um, yeah, this one's rotten too, so I'm, I'm not going to cut it up. But, there's a lot of small stuff that's come down. I will come back and get it later. But, I got my eyes on some stuff that's way back there. Here's a nice piece. It's still pretty solid, so I'm going to cut this up as best as I can. I got it up on this little stump thing, just to get it elevated a little bit. Um, <laughs> I may cut this. That's hollow. Uh, hmm. I got three nice logs out of it anyway. Actually, four. Uh, this is just really funny shaped. So, I wouldn't be able to split it. You know what? I may come back and get this another day. But I'm going to go look for some more. He's got this one right here that's kind of fallen over this old pen. And he's got another one that's fallen back there. So... I think I'm going to kind of focus on them. So good so far. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit much more in here, but I am going to at least go check the situation out over there. Whew, look at all this. Yep, I can definitely, definitely cut. Oh, that's a nice big tree. Oh yeah, I promised him I wouldn't take any of the cedar because he likes to use the cedar for posts. But this one right here, um... This is blocking a path, so I'm going to go ahead and take it down, and I may not cut it all up, but I will certainly get it out of the way and come back for the wood later. Well, at least I got the path clear. I'll get that on another day. It'll make some nice logs. Uh, the kids got like a mini bike, and this whole path was blocked, so I don't know. I need to cut up that too so that they won't be blocked. <sighs> I think I'm just going to grab this one little log here and go back and get the rest. Huh. Well, let's see how I'm going to fit these in here. Let's start with this little small one. Maybe shove it down there. Yeah. I'll be able to get all of them in. I don't think it's going to be a problem. My days are just like lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> I, I mean, at certain times of the year, it is. Um, you know, uh, this time of the year, I'm splitting up wood. So... I don't know. You may think it's boring. I totally don't. Doug and Violet wanted to know if I had any wood chips or leaves. Not a lot of leaves on the ground. But this is my wood chip pile. So I'm going to tell them to watch this video. Um, grass is growing on this side. But underneath, there is an absolute ton of wood chips. So I don't know if there's any way we can break this apart and uh, get it in your truck. I, I sure would like to, to be able to give this to somebody who can use it. Because right now I just can't. That I'm not going to split up. I'm just going to come back and put it on the wood stack. But this I'm definitely splitting up. I'm going to try at any rate. A lot of that wood is kind of like twisted and knotty and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I got the wagon because I had to take it all the way over onto my neighbor's property. I couldn't take the blue bag. It would just be too far. So... This is what I got to do. Split those four up and all of these, hopefully. Got those big pieces split up and it was easier than I thought. Yeah, some of them are pretty small for that one that I had to cut really small, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you just need a certain size of wood to shove in the fire. And some of these are kind of like slender <laughs> and I leave them like that because I like to put them on the side of the fire either side and then build a stack in between all right let me get that done that didn't take any time at all yeah I'm gonna let these sit out and I always look for the bugs <laughs> look at those I think that's the top part and that's the tail <laughs> yeah one uh, one or two lucky chickens is gonna get this feast I keep going back to these bigger logs <laughs> that I've tossed over here and trying to split them up it's getting closer. This one is at least starting to, to uh, crack. So, um, 
you know what, I'm just going to go stack those other pieces that I didn't split and uh, call it a day. Well, I need to show you down by the culvert. I was just walking past these beautiful flowers and admiring them. Yeah, I've got some little purple ones in there too. When those little purple ones dry out, they turn into little brown things that stick to your clothes. But I spied, here comes the wagon, failed oyster mushrooms. Yep, these are brand new. I'm going to come out tomorrow and probably pick them then. This is what I got done on this culvert. Now, it doesn't look pretty yet because I just basically got the first layer off and pulled to the side. I still have to rake some of this because it's cut. And I am going to cut all the, the yellow flowers out. Uh, it's okay. They'll come back. I still need to do some cutting here. But look at this, you guys. It doesn't, doesn't it look different? Look at that. Yeah, I got to pull that back. Um, and probably just look at all this <laughs> probably just burn it I came out here today to finish it up and I forgot to charge the battery so I wasn't able to do it but all the way down here remember it was completely up to here and I got it down with that you Wexter <laughs> however you say it uh, saw blade trimmer I'm leaving that up as long as I can um, because they're just so pretty, but I will take those down. I'll take those down. Um, I'm going to leave this bunch here. Uh, there's no problems with it. And I'll just get in there and cut all that down. But it really looks completely different. Got a little bit more work to do, but I can do it. I can totally do it because that blade thingy, Look at it. There is no way a string trimmer could do that. No way. No way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to leave this here. That bunch of flowers here. Um, but I just really wanted the stuff on the front of my property to go away. So I did. And I did a little bit more about down by the uh, mailbox. I can't talk. Uh, when I get tired, I can't talk. But um, it looks it looks a lot better, and it's gonna only get better. So I'll come out here tomorrow and finish it all up. Look at that! You can see where I cut. Oh my gosh! A lot of work, you guys. Very satisfying. Oh my goodness! I'm walking over here by this little coop over here, and what do I see? Looks like a puff ball. <laughs> I know what kind of puffball it probably is. Oh, ew. It's an old puffball. Let's see. Let me crack it open and show you. Yeah, it's a puffball, all right, but it's a pigskin puffball. It starts out with its incise this color. Never eat a puffball mushroom unless it's completely 100% solid white, no gills. So. Yeah, it's been here for a while. I don't really care. I mean, I'm just going to toss it over there. In case you're wondering, you cannot eat pigskin puffball mushrooms. Um, I don't know if they're poisonous, but if you eat them, they might make you wish you were dead. Can it get any cuter than this? I don't think so. This is Cindy, and I literally think this is the first time this dog has ever sat in somebody's lap, and she's just so relaxed and so serene. She's a happy puppy right now, aren't you, Miss Cindy? You're a good girl. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.